been a while because this game came out May 18th, 2021 on PC. I don't even remember when it went out for PlayStation 4, April 26th, 2019. So it's been a while since anybody has really talked about Days Gone. I actually hear it was a, a fairly okay game. You see a, a, a high user score here, 8.4. If you go to Steam... All of the reviews for it are very positive. People seem to like the game. I thought it was interesting because, as you can see here, I'm, I'm a big fan of motorcycles. So you have these bikers in an open-world zombie apocalypse. And I thought that was an interesting idea. I, I didn't play the game. I don't know why I was just busy at the time. Though I wanted to, and I think I might actually go back <laughs> and play it now because the director is calling out the BS that went around and surrounded the game when it got released. I haven't thought about this in a while, but I remember covering this back in 2019 because when this game came out, it was getting bad reviews. People were taking the game down in its score because of the protagonist that you see in this photo. Why? Because he was a what man. So they actually gave it, they, they took, some outlets took points off of the game's score because of it. Because they were tired of another what guy as, as the lead in the game. That shouldn't affect the score. But these woke reviewers, that's what's truly important to them. And there's evidence of it. I had to, because if you look in the results right now for Days Gone, they're trying to cancel the director. I mean, look at this. Just search Days Gone, even his name, uh, John Garvin, and this is what you see. Like, nothing but Days Gone wasn't a hit because reviewers were too woke. Director claims. Blames woke. Uh, the studio actually distanced themselves from him. I'm going to go over that. Uh, they said they don't share his values. What's what? What values did he say? Did he share? He said that he didn't like that these woke reviewers gave it a bad score because the main character is a white man. What is your what are your what are your value values? Not hating people or hating people because how they look. Bend Studios. But look at this. They're all they're all trashing him. It goes on and on, too. Uh, there's also good news. The petition for this is for a sequel has hit 200,000 signatures. I don't think one will get made. I think, I think the director's best bet is to go the indie route and make a spiritual successor. But uh, here is some old hot takes from IGN and Kotaku where they complain about the main character. Here's one right here. This one is from IGN, writer John Ryan. It says, Days Gone makes some interesting choices that kept my play session engaging. engaging. And the sections of its story that I experienced piqued my interest enough that I was legitimately frustrated that I couldn't continue playing at the end of the demo. While I'll admit that I initially rolled my eyes at, another, at yet another gruff, white male protagonist, a grim world, especially one with a, with such a gruff white male protagonist named Deacon St. John, I end up getting far more invested than I'd initially expected. So he liked it, didn't like the main character. Here's Kotaku. So that's the thing. I'm intrigued to see where the story goes. And the performances are really good. I like the main character a lot, even though he's this typical gruff AAA white dude biker. Now, what I like about this article, and this is an old article, this is from 2019, because it's been a minute, and there were reviews that knocked it down, too. I remember covering this. What I like about this, though, is all of these people like the game, they like the main character, they like the story, but they still knocked it down because of the way the main character looks kind of messed up so i i think 
that the director is justified when he comes out and he and he says this like it got bad reviews because of woke reviewers. I don't think that he's I think his criticism here is pretty dead on. Now I don't think this is the reason the game didn't sell that well. I don't think reviewers have as much I don't think they have as much clout as a lot of people would like to think. Sonic Frontiers, for example, from what I've like all the reviews, it's uh, pretty poorly put together. Uh, that doesn't that hasn't stopped the game from selling. But I I understand I'm using Sonic, which is a massive franchise compared to Days Gone. Most people seem to like the game. I I think a lot of people just didn't even know it existed. I don't re- remember if there was marketing or not. I do think. I do think that the scores might have hurt a little. Here's the thing about here's the thing about reviews. People just look at the score and they barely ever read the review. And when you take when you take that number down because of uh, what the character looks like and not for any other gameplay mechanics or how you felt about the game because you're you're full of the agenda that does that does hurt the overall score. So 71 over on Metacritic. Could this been have been an 80 if they didn't knock it down because a white guy was the main character? I think that that's a fair question. I think that's a fair question. And that's what he's asking. Days Gone creative director blames bad reviews on woke reviewers. John Garvin is once again blaming the woke agenda for Days Gone's poor critical reception. I think he he's justified in his thoughts on this. Uh, this is all he said, by the way, where he responded to somebody on Twitter, though I guess he's complained about it before. I think he's justified in his complaints, by the way. But somebody on Twitter said, I will never understand how this game didn't get universal praise from critics. One of the few times I've been utterly blown away because I was expecting an average experience based on the reviews. Garvin responded with three pointers, the first of which being the tech issues and frame rate. The other two claiming reviewers couldn't be bothered to actually play the game. This is a pretty common accusation hurled at whether negative reviews come in and one we're seeing again with the Callisto protocol. His third comment was where he said, three, it had woke reviewers who couldn't handle a gruff white biker looking at his date's ass. (laughs) <laughs> now, I want to point something out, actually, that's not a, a woke thing. Uh, people could have, couldn't have been bothered to play the actual game. I remember there was a reviewer that skipped a bunch of shit and didn't play it. I didn't touch, like, the crafting or something. And that's actually a fair criticism. If you review the game, shouldn't you play all of it? Shouldn't you dive into parts, every aspect of the game? I mean, you don't have to fully flesh it. Like crafting, I don't like crafting. I usually skip over it and don't really do it because you can just sell that stuff. Like Fallout, I don't craft in that. I just sell stuff. And uh, I'm probably not alone. But if I was reviewing the game, I would probably spend some time on it because people would want my opinion. And these reviewers blow through these games and they don't do everything so they can be the first review out the door. And I remember somebody got busted not playing this game all the way and gave it a bad review. That's fair as well. And the technical issues, if there was frame rate issues, uh, that, that would be fair criticism in a review. But because the gruff biker is staring at a, a butt and because of how he looks like, that's not fair criticism. That's, that's awful woke criticism. Uh, which doesn't need to be put into a review. Uh, The developer came out, said they don't share his values. Uh, What are his values? Not judging people by the way they look? Our studio is immensely proud of the work we accomplished on Days Gone and are thankful to every developer who poured their heart and soul into it. We are incredibly humbled by the support of our Days Gone community, and we will continue to share your enthusiasm for our world and characters as we look towards the future. So, that's not the entire statement. 
Hold on. Here it is right here. We are aware of the comments made by our previous creative director on Days Gone regarding his personal views on the critical reception of our intellectual property. Ben's studio does not share his sentiment, nor does it reflect the views of our team. Our studio is immensely proud of the work we accomplished. So, uh, they're woke. Well, you can count on me not buying any of the shit that you guys make in the future, which is mostly... Uh, your stuff is mostly PSP games. What are you even doing now, Ben Studio? Are you even making anything? Making anything? Oh, okay, it takes two. They had a hit there. Uh, but I'll just pass. I'll pass. Anyway, that's pretty much it. This guy doesn't deserve all the heat he's getting, and they're really trying to cancel him right now. I mean, every article. When you search his name, boom, this pops up. So say, oh, he's not woke. Kick him out of the industry. You're not allowed to woke in. You're not allowed to work in gaming unless you're woke, which is bullshit. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble, my locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube, they'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.